Hello. Oh, my tech issues today. Thanks for putting up with us. I'm going to show you a couple of the cards we're going to do for a little preview, and then we're going to try to gather our thoughts together. Uh, thanks, you guys, for sticking around. We sometimes have router issues. So these are going to be the kinds of things we're doing today. A couple of them. Um, so <laughs> you anyway, we get a little flustered when, when uh, no messages were coming through. And sometimes we have router issues. I just don't know what it is. We have to shut everything down, start it again. So thanks, you guys. And I'm glad you're having a conversation. Kath has started a conversation about what everyone is cooking on this nice fall day. <laughs> She's making chili. Oh, you guys, I love it. I love that you guys, uh, oh, meatloaf. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Thank you for being patient. And I'm glad you can entertain yourselves. I guess we crafters can, can chat and uh, get along just fine. So now to gather some thoughts. So let's start with, of course, we've got mail. All right. I'm going to put this down. And uh, okay, and we have from Best of Street for my mom. Oh, oh, how cute. And inspired by Julie Heights, who is often on here. How cool is this? Look at this. She says that she's praying for and look at that. And gratitude turns what turns what we have into enough. Cool. And you know, my mom grew up on a farm. So did Tim, but my mom did too. So I said, what a cute and look at the barn quilt. Ooh, that's a Wisconsin thing. And we see a lot of those when we go traveling. Oh, she will love that. That is just a fun personal card. And then we have from Sue Myers. Oh, one of my favorite dyes. I absolutely love this Aspen tree dye. And look what she's done. That's really colorful paper. A whole different look, like with pinks behind it. Oh, that not that a pretty, yeah. it's kind of like a... And it's a strip down the middle because it's on yeah, the side. Yeah, on the side. That is gorgeous. And and a different use of that with just putting it down yeah. and a really bright color. That is so fun. Oh, yeah. We love getting mail. You guys know we do. Said it is so fun. And then we have Tracy Whitman from North Dakota. Oh, I loved the stamp set and paper. Look how happy this is mm -hmm. with the cloud. Oh, and look at that. You make me happy. <laughs> That's my comment before I saw the words, but look, this is one that folds from that and folds from there. That is so cool. Oh, and that's a thank you card for some things I said. Oh, isn't this fun? Sandy Sextor from Nebraska. Oh, look at this. Here's what I'd like to be, a little cabin in the woods or a little, little mm -hmm. house in the woods. Do you notice? How fun is this? That last card? I'm just going to point. And we haven't done this fold for a while, so coming up fairly soon, we'll do this again. Do you see how these are the same, Tim? Yep, sideways. And One sideways. And I love you can take any card and, and make it a different orient orientation. I said, oh, some of you others grew up on a farm, too. Or had parents, like grandparents on a farm. So I was a town girl, a town of 3,000, you know. What? But we spent a lot of time out on my grandparents' farm. So, And I think those days... You know, small family farms just aren't so common anymore. So those of you that are lucky to have that in your life or a place to go, it's wonderful. You know, it seems like everything just gets bigger and bigger. But my grandfather and grandmother homesteaded yeah. in southern Minnesota. So that's that is so cool. I love this with the house and this one being in the woods. That is so, so fun. And then we have Margaret Bruce from Arizona. Oh, how pretty is this? Oh, this is really fun. And she's got a lovely card on the inside. Now, this is a variation. If you remember, we did a couple of weeks ago, we did these really simple cards where we crossed our paper and then we left part um, the way I did them. You saw black here and black in the middle. And look what she's done. She's done that idea, but she's put them together. So all the black is around the outside. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yep. I love how you can just take an idea, change it up, make it your own. That's beautiful. And we are her inspiration. I love that. So, and then we have from Idaho, we have Dana Tillmont. Oh, th another thank you card. And how pretty is this? So this looks sponged with a, a mask. Oh, that is really pretty. And just that, that simple. Thank you. So just a gorgeous background on your paper. So fun. Sandy saying she's joining the party late, but glad to be with you all. Well, Sandy, you really aren't <laughs> that late because we we're really we, late and getting started. started so, huh, huh. And now, you know, Karen has to calm down. I always just feel bad when, when uh, tech doesn't work, but that is the way it goes. So next, this adorable stamp set is the giveaway for this week. 
And it fits in perfectly because look at, so if I'm looking at cards we're making today, any of those would be adorable. Put on a card like this. So I thought, how fitting. Seasons of Fun is going to Kathy Best. Kathy, you will just shoot me your email and I'll put that in the mail. And the next, this one, this was donated to me to give away by Barbara Suits. So thanks, Barbara. And I picked this also because I thought, since we're on a roll with this, wouldn't this be pretty? So you're going to see all the things we're doing today. And I thought, this is another card. It just would make me think. And I love this heart and this here for you through struggle comes strength. You amaze me stronger than you know. We can think of a lot of people that can use that card. So that is, and to be in the drawing, I just have to be able to see your name. So sharing, which is the kindest thing in the world you can do for us, commenting, then you are in. Uh, oh, and our next All Good Cards Club, which is oh, like the 20th, 21st, we're doing, if you saw what a hit those faux stepper cards did, I just wanted to show you one of the things we're doing is a whole bunch of variations on that. Okay, I just, Tim walked through the room and this was sitting up and he I says, Karen, it. I love that lighthouse card. So just know, I like to take an idea and run with it. So we're going to be doing a bunch of varieties on the faux fun folds. And then, because we meet three times, and then we're doing other types of faux fun folds. And it's only $15 to come join us. So we would love to have you come join us. So uh, there's a link to for the All Good Cards Club. So am I relaxed yet, Tim? Oh, no. and the... Ken, uh, <laughs> Ken, Nancy, nope. And you can always find this just by going to karentitus.com. It's always there. Okay. Um, this first card, I'm using the brand new bundle. I did a video, an unboxing video earlier today, if you caught it, but this is a gorgeous new bundle. The only part I was going to quickly show here is this is a set of dies. And I particularly just wanted to show, look at these three ovals. These are going to be used so many times and I have Tim take this away so it doesn't get mixed up. But that alone, oh, those are going to be just stunning. And you're going to see I use two of them right here. And that is available in November for customers. It's available this month for demonstrators, which also means if you want to buy the starter kit, you can get it in your starter kit. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Um, so just call me if you have inter interest in that, or if you miss the free shipping day, you get free shipping in a starter kit. So let's talk. So these, and I always get asked how you send them. I send these, you know, they're a square card but they fit totally right in here. I send them in a regular envelope because this is four and a quarter inch square. And, oh yes, Kat, Kathy just joined my team and she's getting her starter kit tomorrow. So how cool is that? Okay, so you can see it mails flat. And then these are pretty obvious because you kind of look at it. And I thought, is this cute? Just a little mm -hmm. reminder that you are loved. And all this paper, including this, is all from that set. Yep. So if you saw the title of this, I did put out what you needed today. And it also goes out in my newsletter. So make sure you are on my mailing list. And then you always get it early so you can be ready. Today had hardly anything. What I put out for you to bring was a piece of eight and a half by four and a quarter cardstock. And then two four inch squares. Which is under serious paper. And the rest we ad lib as we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. If you ever forget the host code, Christine, thank you for asking that. If you ever forget the host code, it, don't worry. You still get the card kit. It totally, I, you know, I send the card kits out for minimum $50 orders. But I do want to say I had three people on free shipping day that came through as no contact. And that means when you place an order, there's some point, I don't even know where it is, that you get asked, can you be contacted? And I think people think, Stampin' Up! is going to start contacting them. But it's not Stampin' Up! It's so I can contact you. So three of you who placed an order that day, I don't know who you are, so you are not going to get a card kit from me. If you think that might be you, would you please email me yes, and then I can match it up? Because um, you want to get that. And I don't want you to think that I don't care. I do. It's just I can't go find them. And then the next time you place an order, look for that to change it. Because, um, yeah, I just hate that system. But I I just want you to know you're getting a card kit if you placed an order. If you don't get one, it might be something at that end. So always check in with me. Now, if you ever forget. So this is just cut in an angle. Yeah, I had two and I cut this one off, but I thought we're starting with this card. The next one I will cut in half. I don't know what happened to this piece, but you know, 
So if you ever forget or want to figure out how you make the size, I said, this is really easy because we need a square card and we want it to fit in here. So we want it to be four and a quarter. So four and a quarter is, you know, half a sheet of cardstock. And we're going to want to fold it as a card. So we're going to double that, which gives us eight and a half. So I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense to you, Tim? Because now, mm -hmm. no. Because you see now, this is my four and a quarter inch square card. Mm. This is the card size that I want. Yes. So if you're ever confused, that's the yes. width. And then you're just doubling it. Yes. It I don't know if that helps anyone. Totally I like thinking in terms of that because that's where we go from. Oh my goodness. Okay. Somebody gave me a sentence here. Counted 96. Okay. I counted 96 zebras, two elephants jumping anxiously. Oh, I love it. I have to go back and copy that. I love it. That we love doing sentences. I <laughs> said this is so fun. So this is just such an easy card. I was calling these five minute cards. You know, of course, if you're going to do something more elaborate like this, you're adding, but to make the card is like nothing. So here is my card. And then I just need to cut a diagonal. So this is an older scoreboard and I need to do this to my new one. You can see I have some lines down here with the gel pen or permanent marker. Do you see these lines? They are on purpose. So, uh, you know, I actually did this. I was working with a young young woman with downs and we did a card we, we she had a card business for two years um for my house so it was, and i marked things like that so that was easier to find the centers and then i've left them because sometimes i think that's easy too to just it. look and but i realized and then what i really found i loved it for was for turning it if i wanted an angle because this is going to mm -hmm. show me where the angle is down here and i still love my scoreboard i'm more used to it than my cutter i know you can do all this on the cutter the score thing but since since i usually use this but how cool is that because then i just can follow that all the way through Ooh. i'm curious how far is what is this it's five and a half or? well it's really a square like this yeah. so see so the yeah. other was a four and a quarter inches yep because this is a four and a quarter inch square. So these are four inch yes. squares. I was just curious. But on this part, yeah. then is yeah, five and three fifths. <laughs> so I could put in the directions. I could put a picture like this, Tim, and do five and then cut your paper five and three. No, no. 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 <laughs> Would that be helpful? <laughs> I'm just complicating. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sin uses this for scoreboard a lot. And I think it's just because I'm used to it. But I also, I, I like my chopper cutter. So that's what I use mostly. But anyway, I love that idea for just helpful hints on seeing where your lines can go. So you guys, this is it. I'm going to put my card together. If I can find my, um, here it is. I'm, so, I, so I'm gonna take my one four inch square and this is just like a field of flowers. So I'm putting it down there. And then this one, I want my silicone pad. Let me get one of those over here. I was using those on my last video and I never did clean it off. So we'll just see. Okay, I guess this it's okay. paper is all directions. Yes. They're not, it's not up and down. Yeah, so it really kind of doesn't matter, which really helps. Okay, so this is my card. Mm. Then all I need is I need a stopper. So I did my words and I just cut this out. I just stamped, cut it out. I just do that all the time. So you don't need to have fancy uh, die cuts or anything, you, you can if you want to. I'm going to put this on. And, and then you're just gonna decide where you want that to be. Okay, I'm gonna put it just like that. Now, if it doesn't, you, you know, I'm not, I have to remember to get my bone folder out to you. See, wow. it'll hold, I just have to have it crease there more. I can see, I can see mine from here. <laughs> okay. But how cool is that? This is just the easiest little thing. So, oh, uh, Juanita, it's your 60th birthday tomorrow. Oh, well, enjoy. And that's a big one. It is. Okay. So now how fun is this? And now? One that I barely remember. Yeah. For this part, you could use anything. Remember that you want to keep this flat. Um, you want to keep this not going over the edges if you want it to fit in a regular envelope, although you know what? Okay, I talked myself out of things. It doesn't matter, it could go a lot taller, couldn't it, Tim? Because it could go in this way. Just forget I said that, you know? I know. <laughs> I talk to myself a lot because um, 
I think I'm going to get good advice, but then I also often catch myself saying something and thinking, wait, I said, would you is say that, that true? <laughs> would you say that again? She said, no, I'm just talking no, to myself. I just, <laughs> so I'm going to just put this on. Oh, that's interesting. So in other words, you guys can play around with other ideas. And then I'm going to just put this in the middle. So on this one, I used this flower. This one, I'm going to use this one. These are all fussy cut. This new paper, one of the flowers in there does have a dye to go with it. But you know, I fussy cut all the time. So already fussy cut two pages worth of these. So I have my raw materials. And I'm going to pop that up. And with these, this looks vintagey. I, I just was thinking that now the oval frame. Yep. And these, the way these flowers are painted, don't they look vintagey? Sue said she always talks to herself when she stamps. <laughs> Uh, and I think these are just so cute. They are. So beautiful cards. Okay, we'll set that one aside. And now let's do this one. Now let's go for really cute. Those are like um, vintage, florally. So just kind of fun. Donna on here said that she had her 70th birthday and she celebrated all month long because Backport Stampers kept sending her cards. You guys know that we send each other cards over in the Backport Stampers. So come join us if you haven't. And that's also where this week you're going to see tons of these cards because that's the weekly challenge. You're going to do Twisted Easel cards. You don't need to use Stampin' Up! things. You can use whatever you have. We like seeing, sometimes we see hundreds of ideas. So it's just absolutely wonderful. I think this, these little gnomes are so darling. And I actually used words from this brand new stamp set that I was using because I like this. So lucky to call you friend. I thought that was just really <laughs> a cute. So this one we'll do from scratch. This one, I'm actually using two of the same because we're kind of in a mushroom field. So I have my... With the mushroom house. Mm -hmm. So first I'm going to do the base. Oh, Karen says she doesn't talk to herself. She talks to her animals. Okay, you guys that have fur babies, you're off the hook, right? Because you're talking to them. That is so funny. Okay, so this is eight and a half long by four and a quarter. So I'm doing four and a quarter so that I have a square card. And then I'm going to leave this part down. If you're wondering, so you'll just watch this. I'm going to leave that part down. And then this is where I'm going to slant this right. But not cut it off here. I'm not cutting. Here, do you want to fold that? Yes. I do need to cut. I do need to use my cutter on this one. Now, this paper is directional. So this way does matter. I'm going to cut this way to this way. Okay. Um, a lot of what I used on these is not directional, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to put those in. And I'm going to cut. And set that aside. This is another of those cards that I think is a wow card. And if you've never made one of these, it's like, how in the world did they do that? And now when you look at this, it is like so easy. I call this a five minute card. It is a five minute fun fold card. Um, Kathy says, and she talks to her pup, but the pup is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> uh, yes, the new papers. Thanks for saying that again. It is in November when you can order those things, uh, unless you buy the starter kit or your demonstrator, then you get it now. Oh, and look what I did. I just, oh, I told him to fold it, but I didn't tell it which way, but look, we can go both ways. I just wondered suddenly why that didn't work. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Or maybe it's me. I did this on no, the wrong side. It could be. No, I actually folded it back. So. It could be either one of us. No, I think I did it the way I wanted to do it. Okay. Without any direction. So I should have left it and I should have adapted to your fold. But that's what working together is like, right? You can always correct what I do. <laughs> okay. How cool is that? Now, this is not going to work on a separate one. The other ones, you're going to get three cards. I could use this part. No. Um, but for another card. So just knowing that that's going to be a little different. I like it, I like it this way. Okay. Then I'm going to do the so lucky to call you friend. I just thought. I just think that that is a wonderful little sentiment. And then this is going to go wherever I want it to go. And then, 
<laughs> Andrea, I love her comment. She says it may be a five minute card, but it takes an hour to go through your papers and pick out what you want, then finding your scoreboard <laughs> and your sentiments down. Oh, is that true? And by then we have a mess, but, but we're looking at all the possibilities. And I just think that is such a fun thing. And you know, as long as you're making a couple of these, you might as well make, make a few because they're just so easy. And if you know, like if I wanted to make a bunch of these, all of this is fussy cutting, could be something else. But I could make all of these while I'm at the table, fussy cut and finish them up at night, you know. And this, I'm not even putting measurements on this. I believe this is three inches and three and a quarter, so I'm changing my mind. But the point is it doesn't matter. As long as it's going to fit right in here, this part can be however you want it to be. So, whoops. And that's cool. That'll be enough. Okay, I'm going to close it. And I tend to just put mine right in the center. So here is my little card to go. Yeah, let's open them at the same time. And then we'll open them. And how cute are those? Very I think cute. these are so fun. Thank you. <laughs> Hilda says nothing is five minutes for her. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> you know, the comment, the comment about um, an hour because you have to find everything and all uh -huh. that kind of stuff. That's for me, like that's cooking. You know? Yeah, no, that's true. It's a recipe. Says, that's true. You know, five minutes prep. Oh, you also come down to that last ingredient that you don't have and then it's yes. a trip to the store. <laughs> but I have something specific. <laughs> Rice that takes an hour and you try to serve it and yeah, yeah, he's yeah. done that, leaving out words in the recipe and thinking it's going to work, you know, so, okay, we're on to our next one. Uh, you know, for Christmas cards, I'm th I was just thinking that nativity scene that we've done, that would be beautiful done on this. Oh, see, I'm thinking of ideas as we think. If I thought of it sooner, I would have done that one because <laughs> I think that would be another because that would be just lovely standing up and you could do like that pretty gold paper or something. Oh, so, anyway, so we're going to see a whole bunch of ideas. And as I'm creating, like, like you just saw, then I keep thinking of more things too. Yes, if you don't have dimensionals, you can use thin strips of paper. You can use all kinds of stuff. You can use foam tape. The idea, you can use buttons. You can use embellishments along here. The whole point of what this is, is just a block to hold your card up because it's just not going to, you know, stay that well. So again, be creative with anything you have because this could be done with anything. Um, but how cool is this? So we have... Very cool. A butterfly, and we just have part of it on. So for this one, we are, yeah, I, yeah, um, a tree would be pretty on that too. Yeah, I'm thinking, I hope somebody does an individual card, or maybe I'll have to do one, but I just think that sounds like a fun idea. Okay, so on this one, I'm using the same papers. It's the butterfly kisses, and I already cut this, but I thought let's do different colors. So this time it's a field of flowers. And again, I'm going to score it four and a quarter, which puts it in half. And then I'm going to put that in the four and a quarter. I'm just, well, it doesn't matter what the track is, as long as it starts and ends in the corners. I think all of these um, easy fun fold cards too, you know, like we talked about before, great things to do with kids. And this is the same paper, it's just the back sides. Decided this butterfly is kind of in a field of flowers, which totally makes sense. And then I'm going to put this one on. And this one. Okay, so it's just gonna be a little different. And here's my stopper. I just think these will make pretty birthday cards. Fall card with pumpkins on the front. Marilyn, I love that. I love that. Uh, yeah, my bone folder. Yeah, it is right here. I'm just terrible. I need to leave it right here, actually. It isn't one of the names. Okay, but I'll leave it right there. And, and Tim, you, you always remind Tim me of that. Titus. Oh, it is. Oh, it is my personal one. <laughs> and then here is my butterfly. So this time, I'm only putting this on some of these. And uh, I'm just going to put glue dots. I like it a little free flowing. So I kind of like it in the air. So I'm even 
pushing these both so you don't see them, but also flap in the wind. Yes. Um, and I think I'll do one more right here. And then those are the parts. Let's see, where did I put that? I'll, I will put those right there. I don't think it necessarily really matters, but look how pretty that is. That is. So now we have two butterfly cards. And this just shows how you can use all kinds of um, a paper. So this is paper from the same set, but just be creative. Come up with an idea, change your papers, change everything. I said, that is so cool. Um, let's see. Um, Carlos is asking if you ever put in a little slip of paper, like with directions, if you give a card, you know what, that is an awesome idea. If you are sending a card to someone else who is who makes cards. I think I would love getting directions along with, I know occasionally someone will send me a fun full card with directions. So I love that idea. If I'm sending it to someone who has no interest in this, I'm not sure that I would, but I love that idea. So I think that is just really fun. So, um, okay. So then ooh, we can, we still have a couple more here. Let's see. So just taking an ordinary picture. So this is just a stamp. And now this one is bigger. This one is bigger than this. I'm doing this on purpose just to show it kind of doesn't matter. You work with whatever you are working from, whatever's going to fit in there. And the mm. words on this one is, there are places in your heart you didn't even know exist until you have a child. But I thought, isn't that, isn't that fun? So again, at the moment, you guys can just keep talking. I'm just going ahead and making these just really, really quickly. So you can be, and I'd like to know who's making them along with me. And I know a lot of you watch and make them right afterwards. But you guys, within five minutes, there's going to be some samples up, I know, over in the backward stamper. So as soon as we're done, I go put the weekly challenge over there. And then I ask you to put your card in twice, once under the challenge part. So you're in the drawing. We do a weekly drawing for an embellishment on Wednesdays. And then once in the discussion. So we all see it. Okay. And then I thought I'd seen all the cards in the catalog, but this one is brand new. I, I you haven't seen it. Yeah. I it's don't in, remember seeing that. And every now and then I'm trying to make more of a point of using more stamp sets that I don't necessarily use. So this falls under that category because it's just kind of fun to um, see them get used. I think we all kind of get into using the same ones. And then this paper is from the hostess set package. I'm going to put that on and we'll put this on. Is it you consider it mismatched or, or not? What miss? No, the these paper. colors are the same. They're okay. from the same paper packs. Do you see how they have the same colors in them? I'm colorblind, but yeah. <laughs> and I just decided this kind of made me think of like grass below mm -hmm. and sitting on a, a wall or something. You know, it kind of really doesn't matter. Or a blanket. Um, but that's kind of where my mind went. And then we... Did I put this on? Yep, I did. It's always good if I put on the right part. Or we're going to have a thick, flat postcard square. Look how cool and easy. Very nice. Just very fun. And um, all right, let's see. Uh, Kathy said, a lady she works with told her recently that children go from sitting on her laps to sitting on her hearts. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> and I miss the lap sitters. Our grandkids are all getting beyond that. I'm, I, I'm missing the lap sitters. I said, that's just so fun. Uh, and then this is one that we made on World Card Day with the new welcome, is it welcome home or welcome bundle, whatever it is. I just love this open doorway, the shoes, knowing you feels like coming home. This is done the very same way. And then the last card would be this one. We're gonna do something a little fun with this too. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I just can't get enough Abigail Rose. And I just wanted to show you how I did this. I love how these, I turned this into more three-dimensional and I can never remember it, uh, this a vintage kind of cards or people used to do this. Decoupage might be part of it, but I know there's a name for it where you kind of layer things on top, but I've always loved this idea. So first we'll make the card. It's already been scored. It's already been scored. One never knows what parts I've done ahead. Mm -hmm. 
Next week, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to be doing something with the new papers. Of course, you're going to use any papers, but I just can't get enough of this new paper. So I already have it planned. <laughs> and then we are going to... I was talking to one of you of today. These. I called some people and she said how much she loved the new catalog and all of the everything in it. It's nice to hear. Yeah, it is. It is. And I agree. Okay. And yes, I'm going to be smart here and do this. I really must do that. So I stay up better. Then I have my friends forever. Um... Let's see. Someone's saying they love the, uh, yes, yeah, that kind of a 3D look. I, I, I remember it being popular. I'm trying to remember when. Would it have been back in the, it was a real vintage look. It was a long time ago. I remember, anyway, I just remember it. But So then this is right out of the same paper. And I didn't have more. I didn't want to open a new pack. But here's what's fun. What I did to put this together, here I did two. I had two flowers. I put one on a single dimensional and then these I doubled. So this one's even higher. So it's like three layers. So I've got this one goes down to this one and this one. Um, so this one I can only do one because I just happen to have one left, but I wanted to show that as an idea. I think if we went through the trunks that we have, the big. anyway, I think we would find some of those. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know what's cool? If you look at these, this flower isn't the exact same as that, but it's not going to matter. And neither are they on here, but they just filled in. You can see a little bit of a different flower under there, but it, but it doesn't matter because we're just kind of building them up. So I'm going to have to add another one if I want to make this the same. And then I'd put triple on that. But I just thought, what a fun idea. So just adding another, another little dimension in there. So those are... Very nice. Six cards made very, very quickly. Now, I cannot wait to see what you guys do. So um, thanks. I'm putting it back on us. Thanks for spending this time with us. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to get this stuff early. All kinds of nice things. Yes, all of those fun cards. And uh, I'll also put a link up if you want to join us for the class and doing all those, like that lighthouse card, wherever it disappeared to. But thanks, guys. And we'll talk to you later. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I'll come back and read comments. Thanks.